Hello there, and thank you for tuning in to this brief presentation on our HEROES framework. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to briefly cover what the HEROES actually are, why they're important, and how we focus attention on them. For those of you who think that you have covered this before, please think again, as several of the key words have been changed for reasons that will be explained. Heroes is the name we give to the ways we approach learning and life that we consider to be the most important to individual, collective progress and success. There are four of them. Being hardworking, being empathetic, being resourceful and being organised. And as you can see, the first letter of each makes for the convenient acronym HERO. We must all work together to explore the relevance of each to success both in and out of school and what choices, actions and behaviours go to make up each. It is vital to note that we firmly believe that no one is born with these attitudes and behaviours and that they are all learnable and improvable. Indeed, that is the key purpose of schooling. We see being hardworking as made up of three components. Firstly, the extent to which one pers perseveres, sticking at things until your goal is achieved. Second, one's levels of resilience, where one is willing to learn from failure and believe that by trying to overcome a challenge from a variety of angles, it will be achieved. And thirdly, being aware of the importance of practicing if one is going to really make progress or get really good at something. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, as Thomas Edison didn't say. Being empathetic is crucial to successful learning, open to the thoughts and feelings of both yourself and others. Again, we've broken it up into three parts. Demonstrating and understanding the importance of a concern for others means a greater awareness of the wide variety of factors that influence the world and its meaning, as well as increased levels of well-being and satisfaction. Developing the skills involved in successful collaboration, working flexibly and supportively with others, again opens up resources and insight that would otherwise be closed. And finally, developing a belief that one can achieve and change things, a sense of agency, as it's called, comes about by being open to the learning process. Knowing that learning can be effortful and stressful at times, but that it will mean change and growth that leads to a confidence in giving things a go. The third of our four key learning attributes and targets is to get better at being resourceful. Counter to popular belief, being creative is not something that one is born with. Creativity is a learnable process and is open to everyone. Being imaginative and flexible in one's thinking is supported by taking an open-minded approach, willing to see the bigger picture and allowing one's mind to change where the evidence compels it to do so. This involves an element, element of risk, as to progress, we must go into areas of uncertainty and the appropriate, with the appropriate guidance and knowledge. Becoming more resourceful and better at being resourceful means that the learner can take increasing control as they inquire about the things that they are interested in no longer having to rely on others to tell them what they think and can know. Of course, much of the development in the first three areas would go to waste if a learner doesn't become increasingly organised at school and in their life in general, as the levels of challenge and difficulty grow. Developing a system allows learners to stretch themselves in ways that will have long-term benefits. And it also allows others 
parents, teachers, friends to help them in that journey too. Those of you who have been connected with the school for a while may have noticed then that some of the key words have changed. This is because the new version better connects with and supports the school's whole school curriculum vision and the demanding and rich experiences planned by every subject and teacher in the school. These plans are made so that between us all, we can help in the formation of people ready to go out and contribute to the world around them, like our wonderful head boy, head girl team. This whole school curriculum vision is available in full on the school's website in the curriculum section. But the introductory paragraph reads, the St. John Henry Newman Catholic School is a loving school at the heart of the Catholic community, where all commit to and enjoy supporting each other in the successful pursuit of excellence. We work to develop the discernment, integrity, knowledge and self-efficacy necessary to realise our God-given mission and potential, and so live life to the full. I would like everyone to note the specific emphasis on something called self-efficacy. This is an educational and psychological term, which means the feeling of confidence in one's ability to take on each fresh challenge that learning and life brings, so that with effort, one can grow and use new knowledge and understanding to good effect. Using and improving the learning behaviors of being hardworking, empathetic, resourceful and organized is central to giving this self-efficacy firm foundations. The four heroes attributes are central to each student at their own particular stage, being able to cope with the increasing complexity of school and life beyond it in ways that allows them to become increasingly independent. More precisely, students being aware of these four attributes, understanding their impact on the ability to engage in the learning process and knowing how to alter their approach to them when things are not going as well as hoped for are both key elements of the self-regulation required for lifelong learning and success. Not only do the hero characteristics support the growth of independent learners, but they are also the mechanism by which we connect together the different elements of our school experience. Our whole school curriculum vision is delivered through our subjects, first and foremost, through our curriculum beyond the formal subjects, and delivered by a cohesive and consistent approach to teaching and learning in the classroom, our so-called JHN lesson framework. The golden thread that links these complementary elements together is that they all draw upon and give opportunities to progress in the four heroes characteristics. This is why it is vital that all members of staff ensure in their curriculum and lesson planning that there are opportunities for students to demonstrate and develop these characteristics and attributes. The hero characteristics and elements and behaviours that they are comprised of need to be brought to the, the front of all our minds so that they become common currency in conversations between teachers, students, parents and guardians as approaches to and progress in learning are discussed. One of the ways that the profile of the heroes is raised is through the thrice yearly learning review, where first teaching staff are asked to evaluate the extent to which students have shown the key characteristics in their approach to learning. And then students are asked to self evaluate in the light of this, considering where and how they can engage with these behaviours more fully, if needs be. Teachers are asked to rate each of the four heroes on a four point best fit scale. Dynamic behavior, 
which will lead to expected uh, uh, higher than expected progress over time. Positive behavior in this hero, which will contribute to expected progress over time. A passive approach to this attribute, which will lead to underachievement over time. Or finally, a disengaged behavior, which will lead to significant underachievement over time. It is important for all to note that the school sees the relationship between the heroes and a student's progress in school, though ultimately it is about encouraging these attributes for life beyond the school gates. Here, for instance, are the criteria that teachers will use to evaluate hard working in a learning review. We, as adults, parents, teachers and employers, know full well that A, having a sense of self-efficacy means that one can participate in life and contribute more fully rather than spending time being a spectator. And B, at the end of the day, it is not our qualifications that get us jobs and allow us to do well in them, but our soft skills, knowing how to learn, to work successfully with others, and to be creative and open to change. The first learning review is just around the corner. In a way, it would be nice to think that every student would score a perfect dynamic for all the heroes. In fact, it is actually more important that each student, no matter what they score, is open to learning more about the makeup of these attributes and to discussing where and how they can be practiced and developed. This over time can only have a positive impact on their sense of self-efficacy, so crucial to being able to live the whole of one's life to the full. Thank you very much for listening.